hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i have got a big bag of yarn and something else in here from a hobby and we're going to open this up amazing yarns from this website it's always great to get a bag with this on it because you know no matter what it is it's going to be amazing so we're going to open this up and have a look we're going to open it up and have a look and see what's in it i'm just going to go in here make sure i don't chop anything up i'll fish out my statement as well push that down oops oh look at the beauty oh oh my gosh i'll get my statement out look at this oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh it's so soft <gasps> look at this this is called hobby horizon it's called horizon it's a hundred percent premium anti-pilling acrylic now anti-pilling is it won't get bobbles on it and or it won't get bobbles on it as quick as a lot of other yarns this is so soft and I love the way they twist their yarn. It's n it doesn't split when you crochet with it. I've had some of these types of yarns before. And look at that. If I can get this to focus in. It is, it's not strands. I don't know. I would love to go there. <laughs> I would love to go to where they make this yarn and just see how it's all spun there's you can't you don't when you put your you just i have never had any of this split on me at all i've never had it split through my crochet hook it is beautiful the way it's drawn and look at that absolutely gorgeous it looks like ice cream doesn't it looks looks like what do you know what it looks like one of those lollipops do you know that you put the stick on it and you get those lollipops that are like that old-fashioned lollipops beautiful love the color in that look at that now this one it's a 200 gram ball that's 550 meters 601 yards if you need to know the weight in ounces it's 7.0 ounces now this one the color is I'll tell you what one this is. It's O2 and this is called Sunrise. This one is called Sunrise. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's amazing. I'm going to pop that. What else can I tell you about this? It is, tells you to use a four millimeter crochet hook. Now it's like a double knitting. It's like a double, I would say if you're in the USA, I think this is maybe like a three weight this one oh it's a yeah it is it's a three weight and in the uk that's about a double knitting and look at that it's so pretty so pretty it really does look all the colors you get when the sun rises in the morning it's a perfect name for it so it's beautiful beautiful soft as well absolutely so squishy and soft now with these yarns you can either start in the middle or you can start from the outside, whatever way, colour way that you want. Now I'm going to pop that aside because I do have more. And there is another one. Oh, oh definitely all it needs is a lollipop stick. <laughs> yum, yum. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now this should be the sunrise again. This one is sunrise, the number for it is 02. But this one is called Sun Horizon Sunrise and it's by hobby hobby is their own brand it's their own brand it's beautiful it's so soft oh it smells delicious it smells so nice and fresh you know when you pick up a new baby and you go mm. just sniff it and that's what it smells like oh it's pretty we we'll pop that there because there is another one there's another one i got three of these 
so this is O2 and this is Horizon Sunrise Horizon Sunrise it's beautiful I couldn't just I couldn't just get two uh, there's 200 grams in it so this is going to make a nice decent size size throw or even a cardigan as well and my friend Elizabeth she's been my sister Sandra's been making cardigans and jumpers as well so I'm going to see her quite soon and my friend Elizabeth is brilliant at crocheting cardigans and she's been trying to talk me how to talk me through how to do it but this is amazing look at that it's beautiful absolutely beautiful pop that there because there is more in here there is more now we've got oh look we've got this beautiful fluffy stuff this is a fluffy day it's fluffy day this one and it's xl so this is a bit like a chunky the weight on this is four now in the u in the uk a four is like an aran but it does say that it's an xl so i don't know if there's maybe a thinner one of these i didn't quite look for that but it's called fluffy day XL 100% a pre premium brushed acrylic so it's nice and soft and fluffy look at that now it's not too fluffy so it won't get caught in your hook do you know sometimes when you've got a really fluffy yarn your hook catches it well that it shouldn't with this because it's quite a beautiful brushed pile that's on this it is so soft and look at that color now, so the number on this one is 21 and this one is pastel yellow and there's 26 different colors in this it is so soft now this is classed as a chunky but they do have double knitting as well this is a four weight but there is and to in the uk this is like an aran it's a four weight but they have a three weight as well for this they have a three weight so if you're looking for something a little bit lighter but still this nice fluffy soft have a look on their website for all the colors there's up to 26 different colors in this some of them are beautiful i picked a lemon because i don't have a lot of the pastel lemon and it's really pretty and it tells you on here it's a hundred grams it's a hundred percent acrylic it's so soft though it's so fluffy soft it tells you to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and that's a usk or a 10.5 it's got your instructions here as well and once again the color number is 21 and it's a pastel lemon uh, it's beautiful and this one is called fluffy day i love this one and there is another one and another one so there's three of those it's plenty enough to make a beautiful little cull a little sort of fluffy blanket that's pretty i'm going to find a stitch that um i had a lady asking me that when you've got fluffy yarn what is a nice stitch that you can still actually see the pattern in it sometimes when you've got fluffy yarn you you lose the actual pattern you can't see it for the fluff but i'm going to find a couple of nice stitches that will be lovely for this look at this it's beautiful the lemon it is just delicious i just love the pastel shades that they use i mean look at this lemon and look at the pastel shades of this horizon sunrise the, just the shading is just beautiful absolutely beautiful that's going to make some beautiful shawls as well that you don't just have to use this for baby items it's going to make shawls and cardigans and sweaters and even dresses that make a beautiful baby dress a little party dress that'd be beautiful for that oops I'm just about knocking, my, <laughs> knocking all my equipment down. <laughs> so what else do we have here? We have... Oh, look at this. Look at the way that is done. Look at that. There is no threads to get caught. It's all... Sp it's like it's spun on a, a spinning wheel. 
do you know, like the old fashioned way that it was spun on a spinner rather than on a machine with all the threads like your your three ply and four ply it is beautiful look at that twist that's what it's like it's like it's just been pulled and twisted and pulled and twisted now this is called kind feather i'll pop these out of the way so the kind feather the number the number in this is colour 09 and I know this is called a Dusty Rose. The weight of this is a 3 and that's a double knitting in the UK. It's a double knitting. Now it's telling you for information you can scan. I've never seen this on labels before where you can scan the label and it tells you about it. Now it's 100% acrylic but this is soft. It is so soft. There is 235 metres, that's 257 yards. It's telling you to use a US 6 hook or a 4 millimetre hook and it gives you the instructions for washing it as well. This is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It really is soft. It would be brilliant, really close to your skin as well. It's lovely. Now there's about 30, there's 30 colours in this there's 30 different colours that you can go on their website and choose from it's lovely I'm now I got a couple of mega balls we love yarn yes we do this is look at that we love hobby yarn we really do so I've taken this one out of the bag so we can see that beautiful colour. Look at that. This is a Aran Mega Ball. This is a beautiful. Now there's 40 colours in this. There's up to 40 colours. And this one is aqua green. It's like a beautiful mint green. It's absolutely beautiful. Now this is an Aran weight. So this does come in the Aran and a double knitting. So the Aran is a weight 4 and the double knitting is a weight 3. So in the UK this is a Aran. It's beautiful. And look at it again. It's spun so nice. It's so soft as well. It's a brilliant price too. It's an absolute brilliant price. Now the colour for this one is number 35. Now there's 40 different colours. There's 40 colours to choose from. And it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful, beautiful big ball of yarn. It tells you to use a UK 5.5 or a 6mm crochet hook. And that is an I jai or a night a jai 910 in the usc it is beautiful look at that oh it smells lovely it smells absolutely lovely and look at that it's a mega ball it's a hundred percent acrylic but it's soft it is just so so soft now 400 grams is going to crochet you a decent size blanket I'm sure it's even enough to do a small lady size cardigan but always make sure you buy enough yarn anyway and even two of these is not even the cost of a well knitted or crocheted cardigan or jumper in the shops this is beautiful and there's a sale on there's a sale on this is down to £8.60 for this huge big yarn ball and they do have a spring sale on so um, get along there and get in and I'll, I'll leave some links underneath the video anyway for these now I'm going to pop that aside and go rummaging in this bag again now we've got this one look at that look at these together Look at the pastel shades of those together. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Now this one, I'm going to leave this one in the bag. I took the bag off the other one so Motley could play with it. So the colour of this one is baby blue. It's baby blue but it's got a number. And it's got wheel of yarn. 
a hundred percent acrylic it's a four four hundred gram a ball now the reason i took the other bag off is so i could read it properly get the number i might need to do the same as this one find the number for it see if i can squish it around a bit so around this way I want to keep it in the bag because it keeps the dust off it. What's the number on this one? Where is it? So we'll just we're just going to open this up just so that I can see the number code on is nine. I'm sure it's nine. It doesn't say on my little label there let's have a look it's eight the number on this one is eight so it's light blue this one it's not baby blue it's light blue color number eight that one is light blue but look at that it's beautiful absolutely beautiful the baby blue is just slightly darker I'm just having a little look there on the website. It's beautiful. Look at that. So soft. It's so soft. Now we've got the more. Let's have a little rummage. Look at this one. So I'm going to open this one because I think this one's cornflower blue. There's about four different shades of blue and it's absolutely beautiful it's so much to choose from because there's 40 different colors so this one is number nine and this one is baby blue and this one is light blue look at these together absolutely beautiful they are so soft as well fantastic now wait one minute i'm going to bring this over as well look look at these pastel shades what did i say about hobby having such beautiful pastel shades of yarn now on their website there's something for everyone i got these ones they're nice bold solid colors they're called solid colors because there's no variegation in them but look at them even you could make something with that and use that as a border or do it with that and lighten it with a border with that mix and match them they would make beautiful baby clothes as well so i'm going to pop that over and that one i'll keep the bag over that one beautiful <laughs> there's no wonder you're getting confused with the colors because there is about five different shades of blue and it's beautiful if you got them all together it would make an absolute stunning blanket it would make a stunning blanket going from light to dark beautiful now what we've got in here now is oh we'll go with oh let's get these there's some more of this feather this is a feather this is so soft it really is like a feather against your skin it's just so delicate and so set, soft and this one was rose pink i'm going to pop that to the side because we've done that one now what else have we got oh we've got a little freebie oh look at this oh my goodness wool needles oh, wool needles oh they've got little loops on them look at that you push that loop through the needle you put your yarn on it and then pull it through and it actually threads a needle i'm sure that's what these are for i remember my mum having something like this it was a little wire one a long time ago and you push the wire through your needle and put your thread or your yarn in and then pulled it back and it threaded the needle for you i think that's a great idea there's so many people struggle with trying to thread a needle oh look at this i think that's what these are oh look oh it's an actual needle needle oh what you actually do is if i've got the end of the yarn look at this i'm going to show you this oh wow this is even better i've got all that yarn stuck to my plaster on my finger you put 
your yarn through that loop. Can you see that loop? I'll hold it up against the yarn, you'll see it. Can you see that loop? This is a brilliant look. And you put it through, and look at that. Then you've got a darning needle. That's amazing. So you don't have to sit and thread it through these little bits. Oh, that's really nice and smooth as well. Oh, I wonder, let's, let's just try this. I'm going to put that through. Look, I'm going to thread, <laughs> I'm going to thread that through there. Look at that. Wow, that is brilliant. It's brilliant. Look at that. Oh, I just pull it out, pull it back through. I'll pull it through. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. That is just great. Look at all that fluff I got stuck to my little... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be glad when my nail grows back right, put that through the hole so you're going to thread that through that hole that loop like that so if you're going to sew a cardigan or sew a jumper or a blanket or your, your granny squares together you put it through like that and then that is your needle it, it's, it's sharp enough to go through your yarn but it's not sharp enough to stab you on there so you just push it through your yarn if you were going to let's just do it like that look we'll go in and out in and out in and in and out and then you just pull it through look how smooth that goes through that is amazing look at that little things please little minds <laughs> That's what my mum would be sitting saying anyway. Little things, please, little minds. Look at that and just pull it. I'm going to pull that back through there. And it hasn't split the yarn or anything. Look at that as... Oh, wow. Where, where did they go? Oh, they're there. Oh, I'm going to be using those. And there's three different sizes. Oh, that's great. Now, it's called a wool needle. These are called wool needles. These are absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'll need to show these again when I do my hook review. I'm going to do a crochet hook review as well. Oh, someone asked me, how many crochet hooks have you got? What kinds have you got? I'll put that back in. There we go. That is brilliant. That is amazing. Oh, I'll need to give one of those to Sandra. I know there's three different sizes, but I, I think Sandra would love one of these. Look at these, Sandra. I know she watches my videos. Look at these. That is absolutely brilliant. That is great. I'm going to keep those safe. I'll put that yarn pack up and using that to sew it up. My goodness. Right, so now what have we got left? My bag is falling off my chair now. We have got... I'm going to take these out. These are the last balls of yarn, but I do have something else in that bag. And excuse the mess over there, Mutley had a paper bag and he was playing with it. Mutley's my dog, if you don't know who Mutley is. Look at these. This is called Carnival. And I had some of the Carnival before, but it was different colours. And it's amazing to work with. Now, I have got... So the colour number for this one is 8 and this one is Mardi Gras, it's not to be, this one is called Mardi Gras and look at that, now this stitch is on my channel, this is a beautiful stitch, it's absolutely beautiful and this crochets up amazing and it's so so soft, it's so soft this carnival yarn. Now I'm going to pop that aside and show you this one. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Now this is called Copenhagen or Copenhagen, whatever way you want to pronounce it. Look at this. Now I love to do this to see what's inside the middle of the yarn. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that, it's so gorgeous and it's so soft. Now this is 100% acrylic and it is the Carnival range. 
it's a hundred percent premium acrylic it's a premium yarn it's beautiful and it's so soft look at the colors look at that now it's called copenhagen and it goes right in from that sort of grey and sort of creamy white into all these shades of blues and greys absolutely amazing now i'm going to check how many different colours there are in this there is 19 there's 19 different colours in this it's beautiful and this is colour number five copenhagen and the other one is Mardi Gras and that one is I'll get that one again to tell you the number on this one I think it, this is number eight this one the color number is eight but that one is Mardi Gras it's beautiful look at these just stunning I love this stuff I absolutely love it and I love crocheting with it now I use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook with that other one that I had and it's beautiful it crochets beautiful now it's a three way so in the uk a three is double knitting so if you're in the usa this is a three way it's a hundred percent acrylic it gives you all the washing instructions tells you to use a four or a four and a half millimeter crochet hook it's a hundred grams it's 262 yards in each ball that is beautiful absolutely so i've got three of those now that's the yarn finish but i've got one other item in here i'll pop them up on my unit i'm going to zoom in a little bit and i'm going to get this last item out now i thought this was going to be so exciting but actually <laughs> i actually Thank you, <laughs> it's really true little things please little minds but look these are amazing i just love these i love the idea of this these wool needles you can put any thickness of yarn through there and what there's even a nice big thick one anyway and you just loop your yarn through brilliant absolutely brilliant i'm so pleased with that now i've got these now you know how I, especially me, I've always got my crochet hooks out and I've either got them in a little tub or they, they end up down the side of the sofa because you get single crochet hooks. Now look at these. Now Hobby do crochet hooks. They do knitting needles, they do crochet hooks, they do embroidery. They don't just do yarn, they do lots of other things. I'll pop that there look at this absolutely beautiful it's nice and soft as well now let's get in oh you can get into this quite easy oh there we go got that out look at that if you have arthritic hands or you're not very dexterous with you look at that such a smooth i've got expensive crochet hooks before in a case and the case you would have thought a two-year-old had made it and the zip is absolutely terrible but this just right or before i even open it this is brilliant it's a good quality zip and a good strong pull brilliant it's got their name on it hobby now this is a set of hobby crochet hooks wait you see this ladies oh brilliant now i'll take that little thing out and make sure motley doesn't get it i'll put it well out of the way of everything that little thing now these are knit pro crochet hooks now it's done by knit pro but it is hobby's brand it's hobby's brand but look at this total quality with look at the colors but look at that big hook look, big hook get that out oh wow that is so cool look at that they're not too long a lot i love these flat crochet hooks and to get a whole complete set all the same is brilliant and do you know what the good thing is about these i'm going to pop that back in there 
the good thing about this style of crochet hook is the handles now with a lot i'm going to pop that down onto my knee the thing is that i love about these are you have not got a tight a lot of crochet hooks when they're really thin and small have really thin handles these don't these don't look at this look at these the handle is brilliant it's not a long handle now you'll see in a lot of my videos that i use this type of crochet hook and you have a whole set it's amazing look at this i'm going to move that just down a bit so we can use that white bag as a background these are beautiful beautiful hooks they're nice and soft and smooth now they're not slidey smooth that you have fingers that would slide right off of them it's silicon rubber that's on here and it's got the crochet hook size and they don't rub off either they don't rub off and these are beautiful crochet hooks i love the color of them that gold it goes from a size two millimeter two millimeter crochet hook all the way up to i think that's a 12. it is push that in there a bit and that one it goes all the way up to a 12 millimeter crochet hook look at that 14 i think there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 14 crochet hooks now if you've had money for mother's day mother's day and you don't know what to spend it on if you've got money left from christmas go down onto there's a little link underneath the video it is worth it now they are a little bit of money but it's a whole set and you get this really good quality crochet hook case to go in it and this is it's not too big a case this is a great little zipper as well the quality of the zipper is brilliant i like the quality i love the i love this and there's even room to stick a few extra hooks in there if you need to but you should know oh, i'm going to put those little things in there look now if i fold that over they would fit in there as well if i fold that over and it wouldn't come to any harm great for if you're going away anywhere to have those in there it's brilliant i love it these a whole set of them it's great it's always good when you get a crochet hook that you like like the i use the four and a half the most i will admit that i use a four and a half a five and a five and a half the most and i always want i always want extra four and a half crochet hooks this is brilliant look at the colors beautiful that rose gold is beautiful i'm going to find some yarn and i'm going to make something with that i love this great big hook look at this i'll put that four and a half back in there they're so comfortable in your hand they don't get really sticky they don't get unless your hands are sticky they don't get all sweaty or anything and that is it's great it, it's i like them i really do i mean you can get really technical and say it's this thick it's that but it's not do you know something they're just good hooks they're good comfortable hooks and if you're doing crochet even this one there's not a lot of weight in that there's not a lot of weight in it at all some are quite heavy when they're they're big hooks these are great great for traveling look at this you just push them back in this one now i've had other crochet hooks where the band inside here is just so thin and hardly holds them look how thick that elastic is to hold them in place like that is brilliant i mean it, it, just a really good size isn't it just pop it into your bag or into your work thing uh even if you stick it down the side of the sofa like i often do that's not going to disappear down the side of my sofa <laughs> this is what i've got from hobby and uh, i want to thank hobby as well because hobby are just i think their, their stuff is amazing 
they don't just do knitting and crochet they do embroidery they do sewing and things as well so go along and have a look on their website because they do a lot more than just your knitting and your crochet things they do a lot of accessories they do a lot of bags i think i'm going to have to look for a nice crochet bag that i can actually put all, put all my stuff in and take it to Sandra's with me or if I go away out anywhere or if I go to my daughter's or to my son's at least that way I've got all my stuff in a nice bag so I think that's going to be my next acquisition I'm going to look for a really nice good size crochet bag or knitting bag both sometimes the crochet ones and the knittings are the same but that's going to be what I'm going to look for next a really nice but decent size crochet bag that I can project bag that I can take around with me when I go out and about that would be a great thing so anyway thank you so much to Hobby thank you for watching thank you for watching this video that yarn is amazing do you know this yarn is just sitting here it is just sitting right there in my face it's beautiful I need to do something with that but these um, again, Alison, be quiet. Look, <laughs> little. Th honestly, I can't stop seeing that little things. Please, little minds. These are brilliant little gadgets. They really are. I love gadgets. I really like gadgets. These are great. I'm going to put them inside there. I'm going to fold that over so that they'll fit inside there. And I'm going to keep them in there so that when I do go out and about into Sandra's, I've got something to sew my granny squares and that together with i'm always losing needles as well but i'm going to pop that there and i'm going to keep quiet i'm going to let you all go now thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye